is really cool. the theme of the showers keep coming up, right? And it's probably why water is also a huge theme in the game, you know, Silent Hill downpour, the monsters get stronger when it rains. We keep seeing either showers or we've seen kind of the shower motif come back? Like, I've seen quite a few rooms that I was pretty sure were the shower room just kind of different looking. Because that's such a source of of trauma for Murphy, or pain. Murphy, forgiveness? You have the balls to ask me for forgiveness? How can I possibly forgive you when you've destroyed everything I had left in this world? Every time I look at you, all I can see is his face. I only ever asked one thing of you, and that was to be a good father to our son. You failed me, Murphy. You failed me and you failed Charlie. And now there's no way we'll ever have him back. Don't call me. Don't write. I never want to see you again. Carol. That's got to be the wife. Forgiveness. Can I possibly forgive you? All I can see is his face. Charlie's? I just only asked you to be a good father to our son, and you failed. Failed Charlie, now there's no way we'll ever have him back. I don't understand. I'm still getting that weird dissonance between Napier having killed Charlie versus Charlie having died in an accident or something, or Charlie being the one that was in the, the Institute and died during surgery. I don't get it. Carol, where did they get this? <laughs> I love the transitions. Okay, you are oh 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 You're a shotgun person. a stronger version of those other shirtless enemies where they sort of seem like bulky fighter types. One shotgun. Oh no, right, I've got extra ammo. Let's reload. Should I heal? Uh, yeah, he, he's limping. Ooh, I do want to go back and check the other way, though. One sec. Yeah, I never checked this way, so I came came from here. And I never went this way. Ooh. This 
This is the one we already read, right? Oh, no, that's a different one, but probably from the same person, I think. Rick? Yeah. Babe, bad fucking news. Someone around here got it in their stupid head that I'm some kind of a rat snitch. Been taking heat all damn week from other inmates, and the guards are coming down to me for every stinking little thing. It ain't looking good, babe. Gotta get my sorry ass out of this place somehow. I need you to call my lawyer. Let him know what's going on fast. Please. I'll see what I can do on this end. I got some ideas. Crazy ones, but better than nothing. Love forever, Rick. Okay, this Rick is turning into a significant character. Who are they to us? Oh! Ho ho ho! Oh! God, it's so creepy the way they move. Oh, wow. Those enemies are seriously really cool. Another med kit? No. I thought I heard my heart beating like I was super hurt, but I seem fine. Unless it. Wait a minute, I don't have any med kits? Did it auto use them or something? Maybe it does. Maybe it auto uses med kits to prevent your death. for it. This this axe is probably going to break soon. I've been using it for a while. I'll go with the pistol for now. Alright, continuing on where we fought that big dude. Another keycard. This door must be open from somewhere else. Hmm, it says control rooms over there. Oh, hey, I can break that. With the axe that I just got rid of. Maybe I can shoot it. Nice. There's going to be somebody grabbing me from the bars, isn't there? I knew it. Mm. Okay, yeah, I thought maybe it would kill him. Maybe need to go into the cell that they broke out from? I suppose there's a control panel in here? Do I really just need to be better with my timing? It's really tight timing, if so. I guess so. Whew. Let's reload the pistol, there we go.
Wait, I need something for this too? Shit. Wait, I have somebody's card? Oh, I just keep that? Oh, right, I can just keep using it. It's not one time. That makes sense. Who's here? Ooh, medkit. Police Department. Boston Police Department for immediate release, August 17th, BPD seeking public's assistance in locating individuals suspected of child murder. Boston Police Department has issued a be on the lookout, a bolo alert for something something in connection with the murder of an eight-year-old male. In the bolo alert, the BPD expresses interest in locating and questioning the suspect and asks all law enforcement personnel and civilians to notify the BPD immediately if he is located. Suspect should be considered armed and dangerous. Lots of images on those cameras, huh? Oh. What's this? I already have the key for that, right? Yeah. Got a lot of shotgun ammo. Let's switch back to the shotgun. the checkout zone. Those images, was that the dis those weren't the distraction, were they? Because that was extremely violent. I mean, that was like all hell breaking loose in the entire prison. Guards shooting prisoners with shotguns and... That couldn't have been the disturbance, right? Maybe it was. It just screamed at me. What was that? Overlook Penitentiary, the Prison of No Return by Paul Grimm. In operation for more than 50 years, Overlook Penitentiary has gathered a reputation as a place where prisoners are sent to never be seen or heard from again. But that's not all. Overlook has also been rumored for decades to be haunted. Strange disembodied voices, ghost-like apparitions, gruesome deaths, and unexplained disappearances, the inventory of peculiar happenings that have been reported over the years by both prison staff and inmates is disturbingly prolific, some might say. Others, however, claim this is nothing more than legends born out of an environment that is conductive, uh, conducive to terrifying tales. No question about it, Warden Stephen Creviston told us. This can be an extremely scary place. We've got society's worst of the worst locked up here, many of them clinically insane. It's just a matter of time until crazy stories flow out of our prison, regardless of how impossibly horrifying they may sound. 
Despite his doubts about the paranormal aspects of Overlook, Creviston does admit that some portions of the prison's notorious reputation are not wholly undeserved. Over the years, there have been numerous reports of strange deaths within Overlook's foreboding walls, and even more bizarre disappearances. And although a number of these incidents remain unsolved, Creviston maintains that the vast majority of the disappearances are easily explained. Something something prison surrounded by something something waters. Okay. So sort of like an Alcatraz thing going on? We're on an island? Only way to escape is through really treacherous or cold waters? This certainly explains why our Murphy's view of an escape from Silent Hill from the nightmare is a boat. Right? That really explains a lot of the things we've seen. A boat is salvation, all the stuff about rain making enemies harder and, and water and showers all over the place. It's all tied back to everything that's happened in here. Ah, oh, another map. Right, I had a map of the other place, too. Some of that's unexplored, but it looks like I can't actually get there, I think, so that's fine. This map isn't huge or anything, so it's not really too hard just to navigate without the map. Guards can pass their sidearms through that window. Oh. As soon as I do that, we're gonna have problems, aren't we? There's everything. Wonderful. That was actually uneventful. I was expecting enemies to come out and I wouldn't be able to get my equipment for a while and I'd have to punch him or something. Walkie talkie's still on. Did I just do what I think I did? I just walked back into the detector for a second and now I gotta do it all over again. Okay. So they're like the beast masters. We got two med kits, still six shots of shotgun left. Fourteen of pistol, okay.
suicide note, right? Yeah. I'm coming, babies, how it ends. That's prob this is probably from Rick. By the time you read this, I will be gone. I wasn't sent here with a life sentence, but this is what it's come to. The days here are eternal. Relentless. Each new sunrise brings endless boredom and monotony. Each new sunset, pain and fear. I've done my time and I no longer wish to be here. But I found a way out. Soon I will be dead, but I'm finally free. I'm coming, baby. Oh god. Hmm. Rather ritualistic candle. No, I don't want that. I don't think I want that yet either. I think I'll keep using this gun. Pretty good amount of ammo. Oh my God, so many nooses. I think there was a pathway up here that looks like it went down a hallway rather than into a cell. Yeah, this way. Workshop. Ah, UV light. Ah, there's another doorway. Okay. Some way into that place. And it's not through the front door. Hmm, I can break that. With the right weapon. I've never tried to use a gun. Oh god, the hell is that? Oh, is that one of those blood splurting things? But on a gurney? Anyway, yeah, I've never tried to shoot these things. I don't want to do that. That'd be such a waste. Maybe this will work? Yeah, it's gotta be an axe or something like that. Don't got much time to write today, just want you to know everything worked out. By the time you read this, I'll be on my way. I'm finally going to be free of this shithole and all those bastards. It's almost done, babe, and then me and you can be together again like we always wanted. Almost. Love forever. Rick. What have we here? I think that was meant to be triggered before I got the UV light. Right? The pickup's just for the other flashlight. Those are huge boot prints. Look. Look at how they compare to my own feet. Oh, 
uh, the manufactured license plates here. Trying to see if any of them stand out. Maybe these could be passwords for the door, but none of them do stand out. They all seem sequential. Mostly. Hmm. Oh, hey. Work release program application, Rial State Prison. Note, participation in the work release program requires compliance with basic eligibility rules and the rules for participation at all times. Any violation of these rules, an offender otherwise eligible for work release may be denied entry into or continued participation in the program. Not filled out. Little note, Murphy, this might be good for you. What do you think? Frank. You never stopped trying to help me, did you, Frank? Frank? Was it Frank Safaldi? I don't remember exactly who they were, but that name sounds familiar. Hmm. I'll go melee with the ones that don't have weapons in their hands, but not these, not the stabby ones. Three shotgun shots. Okay, I was thinking maybe the license plate, the whole thing was the number, and the two that was highlighted was just to indicate that you should pay attention to the plate, but no, I think that was just one digit. God, these machines are so loud and annoying. Did that just spawn another enemy or something? It it, uh, it attracts them, doesn't it? Is that a melee one? It is. Oh, right, but I don't have a melee weapon on me. Uh, I think there's a crowbar on the table. Okay, this is not going well. Oh god. Medkit, just used it. I will never be good at combat. Oh my god. I think I need to run. There's a bunch of melee weapons. That's great. Yeah, they just activate at random and bring new enemies. I think. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try this again.
Nope, not worth it. Not even these. I think I'll just try to gather the number as fast as possible. There's something written there. Five. Okay, let me write that down real quick. I have no idea how many digits I need, but three is probably not enough. It might be. I can hope. I don't think it's three digits. Five, three, two. Nope. Probably four. Yeah, maybe in one of these cells there's a number that's been written or something. There wasn't a number in one of those cells, but there was an axe. on. Alright, come on. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I got kind of frustrated and kept getting attacked by enemies and sort of wasted all of my ammo and pretty much all my med packs and <laughs> I was in a really bad place in terms of uh, my character's resources. But I did manage to find the remaining number. It is, I'll show you real quick. It's here. If you run this for a while, I won't, but if you run it for a while, a 4 will be illuminated on one of these license plates. So, that's the missing digit. I think we have everything we need. Time does not pause when you're entering numbers into the keypad, by the way, so let me try to do this real quick. Uh, 234... 2345? Four, really? Shit. Okay, I got absolutely stumped on this one for like a half hour or something. <laughs> I thought I was just like really, really, really missing something, and I was. For the first time, I actually had to look up a walkthrough. It turns out the first number is written on the ceiling right where you get the UV light. You gotta really look up. I came in here like five times thinking, man, maybe there's a number in here. I looked around and I was like this and saw nothing because you got to go really far up. That's brutal. So it is two, three, four, five, sort of. It's two, two, three, four, five. Just got to double the twos. Also, someone said if you're running the game on easy, you actually don't need the two twos. It's just two, three, four, five. So I guess they removed the ceiling puzzle because they knew it was... A bit more difficult. Two, two, three, four, five. Right, I've used up like all my ammo and stuff. Yeah, I got three shots. Great. Ah. <sighs> well, the game just saved, so I think I'm gonna <laughs> have this as a good place. Yeah, I think it's a great place to end it, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.